I just recorded another video talking about my microdermal and this video is going to be about my surface tragus coming out. Very sadly, very unfortunately, it just started rejecting. So this is where I had the surface tragus. It was my favorite one. It was the one that I just adored the most and I really enjoyed having it. I just enjoyed looking at it. So I had a pretty long curved barbell in there. When I first got it done, the skin pretty much covered that barbell. Like you could only see the two balls at the end and the entire bar was covered with skin. Like a few weeks go by and I noticed I can see some of the bar, you know, and I thought, oh, the swelling has gone down. Maybe it did, I don't know. So I was thinking, okay, so the swelling's going down, it's healing. And then uh, fast forward months and months and months, and I can see even more of the bar. There's a, a, a smaller amount of skin covering the bar. And when I saw that, I I thought, I, I don't know what I thought. And then like an, a few more weeks go by, and the skin is even thinner. Not only is the is there more of the bar showing, I noticed that the jewelry piece was actually sticking out more this way. You know, it wasn't as in deep, it was like sticking out like that. And that's when it hit me, I was like, it's rejecting. And then at the top here, I could see where it was peeling away, um, not from the bottom, but from the top, it was like ripping out. It was like tearing out or pushing out. I don't know. And, oh gosh. So then it just kept on rejecting, rejecting, rejecting until it was hanging on by just a sliver of skin, just barely hanging on. And I just kept cleaning it and cleaning it. And um, it just fell out and I mean, I knew it was gonna happen, but it was just, it was so sad. I took a picture of the barbell. I was in the bed with my kids. We were fooling around and, uh, well, that didn't sound good. <laughs> anyway, um, so me and the kids were, were chilling and it just fell out in the bed and I, I took a picture of it, I sent it to my husband and he was like, Ew. Well, he was grossed out. My husband, he doesn't like needles or anything like surgical or poking or prodding. He don't like none of that stuff. So now that it is gone, like I miss it and all, but it is kind of nice, like not having to be careful when I'm washing my face and, and doing my hair. My daughter would snag it. She would bump it a lot. You know, I, I like to wear makeup, so I have to be really careful when I'm putting my makeup on. Anyone who's had a fair share of piercings knows that some of them are a pain in the ass. It just depends on where it is and it depends on your lifestyle. And that was one where it was kind of like, it was kind of um, annoying, but it was like in a good way because I loved it so much. So now that I, I've experienced it, I want to get it again. I'm going to get it on both sides. If they come out, then they come out and then I'll just get another one if I want. I don't know anything about surface traguses. I don't research piercings before I go and get them. I just go and get them. I don't know if that's typical for a surface tragus to eject or reject like that. I don't regret getting it. It was so fun when I had it. I feel like other people enjoyed it when people would, would um, look at my piercings they'd be like oh that's cool you know so uh, yeah you can see the little scar oh, that was me I do that sometimes I'm sitting in my garage so that was like even louder damn it